If you go a little overboard at the farmer's market this weekend and have a bunch of veggies sitting around, no problem. Ja Jackie Kariosha is here with the perfect solution. You've got a great salad with some things that you've gotten at the farmer's market. Um, you have little cucumbers. They're out, but they're little. And some radishes, which kids all of a sudden just love radishes. Yes. Yeah, this week you're going to see some of the root vegetables show up at the farmer's market. I okay. know the Boulder and Longmont area has mm -hmm. the radishes. And in the next couple of weeks, you'll see them in the Denver area. So, you know, I, I, you have a great salad dressing, too. I mean, this, a lot of people get stuff, and they do sit on the counter, as I just mentioned, and they don't know what to do with them right. or what to put together, what works together. And this is a great way to just throw what you find at the farmer's market together. I'm using the pickling cucumbers, which I think a lot of people think pickling cucumbers, you can just pickle with them. But they're great for salads. Oh. The skin is thinner, yeah. so you don't really have to worry about peeling them because they're not as bitter. And you don't have to de-seed them, so time-saving stuff. Oh. That sounds really good. Yeah. You have to get those. <laughs> so I'm throwing in the radishes I found this weekend, putting in some of the, the sweet mini peppers. Another time-saving tip. They don't have too many seeds that you have to take out. Which drives me crazy. Yes. They get all over the floor. So <laughs> those two things together help save some time. And I'm putting in some tomato, which I found a couple different kinds at the farmer's market this week. I've seen some of the vine-ripened tomatoes and also these I beautiful these. plum zebra baby that. tomatoes. They give a great ruby color to the salad and extra sweet. I think they're really tasty. Yeah. And you've got an avocado there, too. You can't get those the farmer's market. You can't get those no. here, no. You just added that. Just added that. It gives okay. it a little bit of balance of texture. And you make it your own dressing, which I have a lot of friends who do that. I've never done it. It's so easy, isn't it? I it need really to. It really is. It's just a couple <laughs> ingredients. And this dressing is a little bit more like a coleslaw dressing, so higher vinegar content oh. and extra sugar. Well, I notice here in the final product, you do have a lot of dressing. You do that on purpose. Yes, actually, and that, that's some of the juices, too, from the vegetables. So that's true. when you first coat it, it's only going to be a little bit of the dressing. Mm -hmm. And I prefer to let it marinate in the refrigerator for a couple hours. So all the flavors oh. kind of blend, and you get some of the juices. Oh, that's a good idea. You do that. Oh, that's mm -hmm. a good idea. May I taste? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, very good. Thank you very much. So the farmer's market come out tomorrow. All these things will be there. Right. The radishes, that's new this week. Right, that's new this week. Like I said, Boulder and Longmont mm -hmm. do have the first harvest, and you might see those a week out in Denver. Mm. And the Good dressing. pickling cucumbers, the tomatoes, and the sweet mini peppers are in all the markets around right. here. A lot of the hot houses in the area are what you're seeing at the farmers markets in Denver. We have this recipe on ninenews.com. We'll have it before lunchtime. Great idea if you're going to cook out this weekend. Absolutely. This is really good and really light too. It's really nice. Thanks. Really good. All right, we'll be right back, everybody. I'm going to finish. <laughs>